So I'm gonna do a relatively quick unboxing of this and then install it. But we're gonna take a look at this Moen faucet. I just ordered it from Moen off their website. I had a 65% off coupon or for a discount up to 65%. I think I ended up getting about 50% off this, maybe a little more, but that's the model number. And uh, out of all the ones that they had there for kitchens, this is the one that I kind of like the most. And with their discount, I ended up getting it cheaper than I would have even on eBay as like a open box, at least at the time I checked it out. So let's have a look at everything. I guess we can start over here. We have a new gasket, new faucet plate. And I did like to go with the uh, stainless. I should note that this is the spot resistant stainless variety, but we also have a weight here for the pull out spigot. We have the gasket as well as some mounting hardware. This is the pull out faucet head. quality of stainless steel looks really nice. Now one problem that stainless steel does, does have is it likes to attract fingerprints. So we'll have to see how exactly the spot resistant stainless works. We have our flexible hoses, documentation and instructions. Hose tool. And the faucet itself. So what's of course nice about this is it already includes the flex lines hooked up to everything. And this is the diverter. But it's a single Single handle, seems to be really good quality. I mean, I knew it would be because it's a Moen product and typically their stuff is really nice. But this is actually for the faucet. We're gonna have to thread that in, hook everything up properly. So I'd say overall, I'm pretty impressed with the initial quality of this. It's a really nice handle. Right, let's go ahead and get ready to install it. So we're getting ready to install it. First order of business, we're gonna shut off the hot and cold water. Just like that. And I should also note that I did Shut the breaker off for the outlet here, but I am just gonna unplug those just to kind of get them out of the way. All right, so the first order of business is to get the hot and cold water lines off, get these out of the way, so then we can uh, remove the an old faucet from the sink. But we're just gonna undo that line. These typically are not, wrenched on they're all that tight to begin with but once you get it removed and you can just hold it down like that to clear any residual water out thankfully there isn't any so it's gonna be the same thing over here on the other side a little bit of drippage not much I did um, up on the top throw up the handle just to relieve any pressure there was in these lines anyways which there never really is a whole lot to begin with but what we're gonna do now and it's kind of surprising 
that the builder did not put any friction tape on any of these nuts here. So now what we're going to do is disconnect this top line here for the flexible faucet. Now just to get this out of the way, drop the weight. I think it should come out from up here. At least get it out of the way so all that flexible hose isn't down there and in my way. So for these it's kind of a bear to get this on the camera too. Both of these nuts right here and the other one on the other side. And then actually I was able to bend these enough to slide that uh, pull out faucet out completely. And I have to do that up here too because there's another nut here. So it's really difficult for me to stay in here and get this all on the camera. So I'm just uh, going to do it. You guys all have to take my word for it. All right, so we're back upstairs. Now's the fun part. So now I get to go back below, rebend all the uh, copper lines. Now I have to clean up this whole mounting area because it's uh, kind of nasty. Clean that up really quick. Then get on with the rest of the install. So now this is pretty important. If you're electing to use the uh, cover here, this can only go on one way. You have these two little nubs here that are at the bottom of this and they line up with these two holes, just like this. Just take that, line it up over here, just like that. Everything down and in place, exactly like this. Now it's obviously not going to want to stay here, but you want to make sure it's on the correct side. The Moen logo is right here. Maybe it will stay there. I'm gonna have to be really nice and careful with it. And uh, since it's just me here, I'm gonna have to come back up and look at it and make sure everything's straight. But let's go ahead and start mounting it. All right, so quick update. All I've done down below is fastened that small nut and washer, put the washer in up at the top lined everything in up top, and then threw the washer up, tightened that down. And I used this nifty little tool that they include. It just goes over the shaft, and then you just tighten it up. They say you can use a screwdriver. I did it by hand and got it pretty damn tight, so I'm not really worried about it. And then, let's see here. So really the only thing I have left to do down here is hook up the pull down faucet and then hook up the hot and cold and of course plug my uh, appliances back in. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to throw some Teflon tape on here. So one thing I do want to mention is this little gasket right here. This appears to only be for the single hole mounting. I'm using this method. 
it doesn't call for that. So don't worry about it if you're using it this method. If you're installing it here like this, you're gonna wanna put it right there underneath the faucet. But this does go on. This goes, let's see, where is it? Right here, and just threads on, hose protector, finger tight, no big deal. Then we'll hook up the water lines, and then uh, go from there. So now we're gonna shove this in. like this all right sit down below I'm gonna grab the end of the hose here stick it in just like that and so now we're going to take the weight and it's saying to put it just underneath this yellow piece of tape right above the loop perfect That's good. Looks like we're kind of impacting here. Maybe I can move that to the side. I remember having to do this with the other one, kind of finding the best spot for it. But anyways, so now I'm gonna throw some Teflon tape on these connections here and then screw both of those lines on and uh, hopefully we'll be able to try her out. All right, so both the lines are hooked up. Just have to tighten them down. go kind of worried about this be mindful Yeah, the way that this one's designed, the water pressure is so much better than it was out of this one. Even when this one was brand new, like when I initially bought this house, the water pressure was nowhere near this good. So I'm just seeing if it's going to get hot. So probably one of the nicest features about this thing is it's got this boosted spray button. So we can watch this and it'll work either with the stream or with the fan. Boost up the pressure just a little bit to turn it off. You just do that. You might have seen that it came back out when the pressure went off a bit. Turn it back on, go to spray. That's really nice. Doesn't seem like you can turn it off though without turning the whole faucet off, but that is what it is. Pretty cool little feature on it. Now just to get a proper finish on this video, I did tighten this up a little bit here. You don't want to over tighten this because these are plastic threads that are on this head. So be very careful when you do that not to over tighten them. But simple universal wrench works perfectly fine for that. The water pressure is so much better in this faucet. I'm definitely happy with that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.